Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. I want to highlight the Epic Game Store freebie for the day as a part of their holiday sale. 100% this has been offered before, but it's a solid offering and uh, I definitely would recommend you guys to check it out. So we'll talk about that and also some excellent deals over at the fine folks at Green Man Gaming. Uncharted, Gotham Knights, they've got a lot of deals running right now as a part of their holiday sale. So you'll definitely want to check them out as well. And I definitely got to do a bit more coverage on Epic everything they're running because they've got some really solid stuff available right now. More on that in a little bit. We just got two deals to go over in this particular video. But first of all, Wolfenstein The New Order is the freebie over on the Epic Game Store. Obviously a really solid alternate history first person shooter. Uh, Wolfenstein definitely gets a bit wacky and a bit out there, but all in all, the New Order I thought was a solid single-player first-person shooter. Now, it's obviously just single-player, so just bear that in mind. Uh, campaign's pretty good, and uh, it's relatively lengthy for, like, a first-person shooter... You know, this isn't a four or five hour uh, single player campaign, given that it's single player only. You kind of need to go the extra mile and create something a little bit more compelling. But uh, Wolfenstein The New Order is a darn good game. New Colossus is a pretty darn good one as well. Typically goes for $19.99, but of course, it is available free right now. So go ahead and check that out. I think you guys will enjoy New Order quite a bit. Just, uh, you know, it is a little bit gruesome, a little bit more on the mature side in terms of, you know, those elements, but it's Wolfenstein. You guys know uh, what to expect as far as that's concerned. A lot of, uh, let's just say, like, the language is definitely something that is uh, definitely warranting its M, uh, its M rating. So, yeah, there you go with that. Okay, moving on from that, go check that out, free on the Epic Game Store. Want to cover a couple deals that are available on Green Man Gaming. Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection, 42% off for $29.04. So this isn't even two months old yet. Um, it might actually, we might just have hit the two-month mark, but it's right around that ballpark, a little under two months old. And... The fact is, this is probably the price it should have come out for. I mean, it's Uncharted 4 and Lost Legacy. Uncharted 4 is a supremely good game. Like, I kind of forgot how good Uncharted 4 was. And then I replayed it with this PC outing. First of all, it helps that the PC version is absolutely tremendous. But... Yeah, playing through Uncharted 4, I'm like, damn, this game has, like, really solid pacing, really solid game design, and sure, I know some narrative aspects don't uh, hit with people as much as, let's say, in Uncharted 2, and I, I definitely can understand why you would be a little bit mixed on Uncharted 4 from a narrative standpoint. From a gameplay standpoint, it's great, the visuals are outstanding, and I think the pacing is just really solid all around. Lost Legacy is more of a smaller game, but you get that as well, so that's a pretty solid deal, all things considered. 2904, I think this is a pretty a solid pickup, so, you know, you won't be getting into Uncharted 4 multiplayer by any stretch of the imagination, but, uh, yeah, Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection for 2904, I think that's quite good. Lastly, I do also want to give a shout to Gotham Knights, 57% off for 2580. This is definitely, uh, I believe it came out October 25th, so the fact it's 57% off, like, that's a sizable, sizable discount. I do imagine that the game will be getting down to, like, 2999 directly on Steam during the winter sale. That's the price it's available for on the Epic Game Store. However, on the Epic Game Store, you can stack the 25 percent off on it and you can end up getting it for 2250 nonetheless i know most of you guys want a steam copy it's a pretty darn good deal man gotham knights for sure had its issues definitely gave me a bit of deja vu to the batman arkham knights days in terms of pc performance however they have been hard at work in ironing out a lot of the issues. I was in the midst of my second playthrough of this game. I completed the entirety of my, my first playthrough just as Nightwing. I wanted to play particularly as one hero, and I've, I, I dig Nightwing. I think he's a pretty cool super. I'm not a big DC guy, obviously, but I decided to go back and uh, do another playthrough, and um, I, I started a playthrough as Batgirl, but I didn't get that far into it. I need to jump back into it at some point. You guys know how it is. Eight billion games coming out doing a second playthrough of game sometimes isn't priority especially you know during the heavier periods although right now a little bit of a lull until mid-january or early january really with one piece but uh yeah we got a little bit of time before the major releases so enjoy your holiday break enjoy that free copy of wolfenstein the new order but those great deals uncharted legacy of thieves collection gotham knights some solid stuff all around and again gotham knights um for sure has its issues, but there's a lot to like about the game. Like, I think most people like that game from a story standpoint. I wasn't as blown away by the story as some other people. There's some twists and turns. Like, again, I'm not a big DC guy, so I'm not getting, like, super invested into it. Definitely not as much as I got into the Arkham games. But comparing, you know, Gotham Knights to Arkham, which... 
I don't think it's a stretch to say that Arkham uh, was one of the best uh, superhero video game franchises of all time. Like, literally, it was... Uh, like, comparing it to Arkham isn't probably fair. So, uh, you know, at its own, it's a decent little game, but definitely not $60. $25.80, on the other hand, that makes it a lot more compelling of a pickup. And again, they've been doing a lot in terms of improving performance of the game. Like, this, this game was a train wreck when it initially came out. Like, I beat it with all the train wreck elements to it, but uh, it definitely was a bit of an undertaking. But that's going to do it for me. Again, Wolf Inside the New Order free on the Epic Game Store. Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection. Great deal on that. $29.04. And Gotham Knights for $25.80. Two recent releases that cheap. Hell yeah, sign me up for that. Definitely worthwhile there. That'll do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting, but as always guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.